So the dark ages of DSP were like, here was your $60,000 spend, and here's the 5 million impressions you got. Right. <laughs> that's there's the story. More, there's more than that. No, I mean way <laughs> long, 10 years ago. Right, right, right. Like 2010, that's really what it was. Right. And uh, before AMC, the conversation was a lot more interesting. We just broke down those metrics that actually, they do have a story. We didn't talk about lift tests, but I think lift tests are hard to do. Right. And now we have AMC. So please like introduce AMC, AMC for people who don't know what it is and sure. what, what's the value add? Sure. So let's let's maybe compare it to a lift study as a, as a nice point of comparison. So when you're doing a lift study, you survey a bunch of people and you said, I know that you saw this ad. Did it do anything for you? Did you learn about my brand? Did you go buy something? Tell me based on what your your survey results, what you did. Uh, AMC does the opposite, right? So AMC says, I know that I showed this ad to this person's unique user ID, which is Amazon's like anonymous identifier of the person that you showed the ad to. Then I can actually see, based on being shown that ad, what behavior did they take? So not what was their self-reported behavior, what did they actually do? Did I click on a different ad? Did I click on five ads in a row? Did I add something to the cart and then abandon it? Did I actually buy products? Which products did I buy? Mm. Um, but like giving you the ecosystem to say, rather than panel data, get the actuals of yeah. how did people actually interact with my ads and what downstream net effect did that have? Mm. Yeah, I mean, AMC in, you know, a very quick, short summary is just a means to track the entire customer journey. We always yeah. had to make assumptions before, um, and we did. <laughs> Many assumptions were made, but you never had that ability to say like, okay, right now I'm running this display video campaign. Maybe it's OTT or streaming TV, right? And with that, you truly do mostly just get like video completion rate and impressions. And so it's really hard to like justify, you know, this type of advertising. But we've always made the assumption that, you know, if you run a streaming TV ad, those impressions, those people will know your brand, they'll go interact with other parts of your program. Assumptions. Now we can truly tie those views and those impressions mm -hmm. back to the rest of your program. And this is, you know, replica, rec, uh, we can replicate this across a variety of different ad types. It's not just with video, but video is a great example. And so it's really just a means to take out the assumptions and give you accurate data. Mm -hmm. yeah.